you so much for watching and thank you to that car for ruining me. Actually, we've got a few things going on at the moment. We've got a dust storm rolling in to Dubai. It's just happened in the last 10 minutes. Dust is flying into my eyes. So we've got to do this very, very quickly. All right, so I'm gonna take you through this beast right here. This is the Mansouri Cyrus. Was it? It was the delivery guy for the car. Oh. <laughs> it's running the fan, it's from the fan belt because it's so hot right now. We're filming in like 40 degrees. So I said, please turn it off just for a minute. Just sweat it out with me while I do this video. He's like, okay. All right, so let's get this going because it's not just me sweating it out. Now it's the guy who's delivered the car. All right, now this, what we're looking at right here is originally an Aston Martin DB11, the V12 version. Now Mansouri has taken that car and created a one-off Mansouri Cyrus. So they've renamed the car Mansouri Cyrus. Massive thank you to Car Vault here in Dubai who has brought down this Mansouri Cyrus for us to see on the Supercar Blondie channel. They've actually got it there for sale. So let me show you what I think is the craziest part of this car. I have never seen this before, which is also kind of crazy to say. Right here, if you know you're getting a Mansouri edition anything, it's gonna be kind of crazy. Check this out. A full silver leather interior. Silver! I hope you guys can see this properly. I hope it doesn't just look white because this is silver. It shines. And <laughs> I've never seen that before. It actually matches the silver top of the car. So you've got the top of the car in silver and then you've got this beautiful racing green color on the outside. I really like that. It's so reflective as well. It's very shiny. Let me show you around everything that Mansouri has done, okay? Right here, you've got these beautiful side skirts in carbon fiber. And this is actually something called collage carbon fiber. Do you see all these little bits, how it kind of looks like it's being collage together so you've got these side skirts here you've got all new wheels so these are 22 inch ultra light forged wheels whole new rear diffuser in that collage carbon fiber and you've actually got right here an f1 brake light let me show you right now that's always cool who doesn't want an f1 brake light sounds great so what they've done is they've actually completely changed the exhaust and they've also added uh, extra air intakes that's contributed to an extra 100 horsepower in this car so the original DB11 has around 600 this has around 700 horsepower because of that new exhaust you're actually going to hear more from the back as well should we just give it a bit of a rep yeah, yeah. so I've just switched it into sports plus here uh, that's that button there. You can kind of switch it around with this. GT, Sport, Sports Plus. can show you the rest of the car. So you've seen the F1 brake light, you've seen the rear diffuser, you've got this nice little wing here, all in carbon fibre. Of course you've got to have your side mirrors in carbon fibre with a little Mansouri mark there. The bonnet is completely redone, like look at all of these air rate outtakes here in carbon fibre, I love that. It always makes the car look super aggressive when you've got this kind of like louvered air outtake on the bonnet itself, I really like that. And down here, the whole grill has been replaced into carbon fiber, which is kind of crazy. All of this, this is the only one in the world. Because of that and everything they've done to it, including the engine tuning, this car now costs almost four times the original price of an Aston Martin DB11. This here goes for over $800,000.
There we go. We've got something in here. Is it cash? Is it? Nah, it's not cash. It's a rock. <laughs> crystal? I think it's crystal, right? Okay. Maybe for good luck. All right, we'll leave that in there. This is the key. It's got a nice little leather pouch, which is nice. Mansori. There we go, all blacked out. You've got the carbon fiber and leather steering wheel with the green stitching. You have got the carbon fiber over here and see how it has a, a green interwoven into the carbon fiber to match this racing green trim here. And then all the roof is silver as well with the stitching and the trim. The back, you've got the Mansori uh, badge here. That's a speaker behind that. And here as well, like all of this, the paddle shifters is carbon fiber. This is now all carbon fiber. None of this actually comes a standard in the V12 DB11. So they've really upgraded the interior. They basically stripped it out the whole car. This car, that nothing would have been left in this car before they actually put the seats back in and everything else because they've completely stripped it down and redone it. So it's a brand new car. I have the only Cyrus in the world. Look at me. Aren't I fancy? All right, let's go for a drive. Ready? Oh, 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 nice takeoff. Holy moly. That is fast. I really like how it sounds too. Look, it is no secret that I think the Aston Martin Vanquish S is one of the best sounding cars ever. So the DB11 also sounds amazing, but they've completely changed the exhaust and they've got new air intakes, etc., etc., to give it that extra oomph and that extra sound. So, yeah. I don't know, it's just weird like being in a fully silver car. I've just never seen seen it before ever. Look, this car costs quite a lot more, but the good thing is, is that when you're driving it, you can see what they've done to it to make it cost so much more. If you go to any uh, car show in the world, Mansuri will have probably the most outrageous cars on show. I've actually seen a Mansuri edition Bugatti that was full carbon fiber, exposed carbon fiber with diamonds as the Bugatti badge and all sorts of other things that uh, Mansuri did to this. It was just insane. So, if you're going to go with a Mansori, you know that they're going to do something just a little bit different like this. Hear that popping? The growl, I love this. Alright, that's it guys. Massive thank you to Car Vault. You can actually find this car at Car Vault here in Dubai. Thank you for showing us this today because I've never seen anything like it, honestly. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked it. Pop a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the car and subscribe to the Supercar Bloody family. I'd love to have you. Love you. Bye, we're up.